In 2017, the Pioneer School for the Visually Impaired in Worcester started a multi-sensory garden project on their school grounds. The Beta Hunt team of the subject group Creative Writing at the Northwest University was approached to join this collaboration project. The Beta Hunt Pioneer Project is an interactive literature project that uses QR codes to make site-specific text available in the garden. The Beta Hunt Information Board may be found at the entrance to the garden. This board tells users how to scan the QR codes. The instructions read as follows. Open the QR code scan app on your phone. Put your phone's camera on the QR code. Slowly pull your phone away until the QR code is scanned. The QR code has a braille frame around it so that blind learners can easily feel the QR code. After the QR code is scanned, the link takes the user to the appropriate interface. The interface design is visually simple so that users with low vision can work with it. The interface is furthermore programmed for basic screen reader software so that it can also be accessible to blind users. Voice over on. The house where I live. William Rowland. When the user accesses the literature, the text, contrast and size can be adjusted. For the soundtrack, there is also a simple control bar, namely to play, replay and stop the sound. Each text has a recorded soundtrack which is read by the author or by a voice artist. I must remember, every day is a round blue pebble, fondled like a jewel in a little boy's pocket. There are 10 garden verses in the garden. Each text is site-specific and somehow related to the garden. The garden verses were written by well-known poets. The verses are complemented with music arrangements, typographic animations, as well as translations in Setswana, Isikosa, English, German and Portuguese. A further extension for accessibility and multilingualism is the addition of sign language. Learners can experience firsthand what the plants feel, smell, and taste like. Another feature of the garden is the walking surfaces that are made of a variety of textures that bring out different sensory experiences. The textures were chosen to go with some of the children's verses. Die sagtrapad, die dennepad, die gras met tras, aan my voete vast. The project is furthermore used for teaching purposes to expose learners to new experiences and possibilities of literature. The learners also get the opportunity to sharpen their technological skills. Apart from the literature and the interesting plants in the garden, there is also a music installation that is very popular among the learners. Another extension of the Beta Hunt Pioneer project is the Pioneer Stories. These stories were written or told by learners and former learners and are about their adventures and experiences at the school, the town and environment, among others. Fifteen steps I remember, making my way up during each break with a book under my arm. Twenty-seven stories were posted on the school grounds at sites that are relevant to the stories. These stories are also available to the public in Blindiana Barista, a coffee shop at Innovation for the Blind. Here, visitors can relax, enjoy a cup of coffee and read or listen to a story. Blindiana is also the home of Joseph Matetau, South Africa's first blind barista. Joseph's story forms part of the Pioneer Story collection as well. Making coffee is like creating a, um, you know, a, a beautiful piece of music. The instructions of the project are available in Braille and large print, and it works the same as those on the school grounds and the multi-sensory garden. With this project, everyone can experience place and literature in a new way.